some of you might have remembered on March 8th, we got communication from 11th Hour Games around they wanted to do a mid-cycle survey on how we, the player base, wanted them to handle bug fixes, whether we wanted them to address it during the cycle, after the cycle. There was a lot of questions around how we wanted them to handle bugs and fixes during a cycle. Well, we now have the results of that survey. And in true fashion, 11th Hour Games has shared the results of that survey. So in this video, we're going to take a deep dive into the results and explore what the player base feedback was for the survey. I hope you'll join me and stick around. We'll see you on the other side. <clears throat> All right, so let's get right to it. Here is the post from the developer blog on lastepoch.com. I'll link the whole article in the video description so you can look at it yourself if you would like. But here it is. Hello, travelers. In between attempting to save the citizen of Atera and eradicating them, almost 70,000 of you have joined in with your voices to discuss mid-cycle balance changes. Their turnout for this survey has been fantastic. And further, it's in addition to the many discussions here on the forums and other platforms on the topic. We want to first thank you all for your enthusiasm on this topic, driving it forward. Today, we want to share the results of this survey, as well as the decisions which has come as a result of the feedback. Mid-cycle build balance survey recap. So 74.3% want OP skills and items fixed. Very interesting, overwhelmingly actually. 86.5% want to be notified prior to nerfing OP builds. That's no surprise for, for the player bases that have, uh, the players that have OP builds, obviously, you would like to get notified of changes that are coming that could potentially uh, impact your viability of your build and it potentially not being OP anymore. And for example, we've had where the ward, that was the big ticket item that a lot of people were talking about, the ward and how the multipliers were way off where a specific node on a skill was saying 0.4%. Uh, and it was actually in-game multiplying it at 40%. Huge, huge difference. Of course, not in, that's not how the developers intended for that to be implemented and worked in the game. So, of course, that's a huge bug. And But regardless, players want to be notified. So 86.5 of us want to be notified prior to nerfing OP builds. And I'll be honest with you, when it comes so far from what we've seen from 11th hour games, they don't lack communication and transparency. So I'm sure they don't have a problem with this. 71.9% disagree with nerfing skills or items that are OP if it's not due to a bug. So um, a huge, huge proportion of the player base don't want OP builds touched if it's not correlated with a bug. Um, so in other words, if, as long as it's not a bug, but the build is OP, don't touch it. And it doesn't sound like EHG has a problem with that. Uh, thank you for making your voices heard. Like they said, almost 70,000 people participated in the survey. Again, speaking to just how involved the players are with the development and management of this game. It's really remarkable that 70,000 people took part of this survey. Um, so obviously they're thanking us. For the purpose of reading the below results, the following information will help. So basically guys, as we're going through this and I'll try to get through it as quickly as possible, just on the scale, one is strongly disagree, five is strongly agree. So the lower number is strongly disagree, the higher number is strongly agree. And when we first started the survey, the scale was in reverse. We received immediate feedback about this and swapped it before too many results came in. 
While the results below do not reflect this change, we made this change very early into survey, so it minimal impact on the results. So overpowering bugs. And the question on the survey was, during a cycle, would you like us to fix bugs that cost skills or items that highly perform? And 74% of all the votes in the survey crushing the other options as well in written feedback. The stance from the community is fairly clear. We should be fixing bugs which cost skills or items to highly overpower and as such will be doing so. So they're just confirming the results that they got from us, but not only sharing the results, but also stating we're going to do this. This is a change from our previous stance where we didn't want to alter balances mid-cycle. Now, if it's the case of a bug, we will be pushing out these fixes in mid-cycle patches. So here is another demonstration of how 11th Hour Games is taking the feedback from their player base and changing how they're managing the game based on the feedback from the community. Applause, applause, applause. So they didn't want to touch anything when it came to class balances, but the community came out loud and clear and said, no, highly overpowered uh, characters that are due to a bug, you address it in the cycle. Don't wait. Um, so really, really great news. And another demonstration of how their willingness to listen to the, the community. The other question that was around mildly overperforming bugs during a cycle, would you like us to fix bugs that cost skills or items to mildly, mildly overperform? This one looks like it was all over the place, but here's their explanation. In the case of a bug resulting in a build scale or item mildly overperforming, there's a much less clear stance and this chart of the survey results, you could see it's all over the place, right? There's, well, there is a, a winner, but I, I don't know if it's a clear winner. From written feedback, it's a bit, bit clear as to why. What is mildly overperforming? Being a bit of a vague categorization, it's left up to an individual's interpretation. We have decided in this case to use case by case discretion. This would be based on feedback we're seeing in the community and just how far the bug results in a power shift. So we, we may choose to or not to fix bugs which are mildly overperforming mid-cycle and we'll discuss them as they arise. Again, no clear overwhelming winner on this question with mildly overperforming because as EHG stated, it's up to interpretation what mildly means. So for now, they're going to leave it as a treated on a case per case basis. And if something pops up, they'll let us know. Again, really great way of managing. They overwhelmingly didn't get a response one way or the other. So they're playing it by ear until further notice. So that is really good. Now, overperforming balance. During a cycle, would you like us to nerf skills or items that are highly overperforming, even if it's not caused by a bug? Uh, again, all over the map here, uh, but obviously strongly disagree was out front. Um, but let's see what they have to say. On the other hand, if a build is overperforming, but not caused by a bug, the feedback has largely weighed towards do not change. While not quite as one-sided as with bugs, this is still a fairly strong sentiment from the community with over 57% voting not to make these changes. This also matches our existing stance as well in not taking too many steps to alter balance mid-cycle. As such, we'll be avoiding balance changes which are not bug-related, even if it's resulting in a build, skill, or item. Highly overperforming. Applause, applause, applause. Totally agree with this sentiment right now from 11th Hour Games. These are overpowering builds 
that are not overpowering because of bugs. They're just overpowered characters. And with the skill set of the player base that's out there, it's inevitable in any game, players are going to find how to maximize builds. And if it's not related to a bug, then it shouldn't be touched, in my opinion. And it looks like 57% of you agree with what I'm saying. And 11th Hour Games agrees with the 57% as well. And they're not going to touch any classes or builds that are not due, overpowering builds that are not due to a bug. So applause, applause, applause. And they, again, confirm it in the communication of the results. Mildly overperforming balance. So the question, during a cycle, would you like us to nerf skills or items that are mildly overperforming, even if it's not caused by a bug? So again, another overperforming, mildly overperforming build that's not related to a buck. And again, you can see the chart here is pretty strong. As one might expect, as the power from something not bug related becomes less impactful, this is, this is, the desire is even less for changes to be seen to them. Weighted quite heavily towards no changes, we agree with the stance and will and not make any balance changes mid cycle which are not bug related and only results in the skill builder item mildly overperforming and again wise choice and again this is kind of what i suspected the community would be saying if it's not related to a bug whether it's overperforming or mildly overperforming don't touch it it's not bug related leave it alone and ehg agrees with that Okay, mid-cycle leaderboard reset. So for your leaderboard enthusiasts, you obviously were cling to this question. So during a cycle, a full reset to leaderboard should be done when builds or items are nerfed that are highly overperformed as a result of a bug fix or balance change. Okay, so let's see. Let me keep the chart up here. In the event that we release a change or bug fix, which was resulting in an item, skill, or build to overperform, the desire for leaderboards to reset has been quite mixed, of course. We discussed this in a fair amount and have made the following determination. We will not reset leaderboards in this instance. However, we will instead add information to the entry to indicate when the entry occurred. The goal of this being to make the information available to identify entries which may have used a build that has since changed. We decided against a marker icon on the entry indicating it was an overperforming build as we didn't want these to appear as a mark of shame. We felt this was the best way to be able to allow competitive players to continue competing on the leaderboards without taking away other players' previous hard work on their builds even if they were overperforming. Really, there is an argument for every direction and decision you can make on this question. There really is. Um, you can make an argument for, no, it was a bug. They shouldn't have been overperforming. Reset the leaderboards. They shouldn't be up there. Um, then you can make an argument like how they are that... <laughs> You know, this is a very delicate situation. We're going to leave it as is. We're not going to change the leaderboards. We're not going to reset them, but we are going to make notes so players know that this build has changed. Now, they don't want to put an asterisk on the player's name. Um, as they said it, that'll appear as a mark of shame, but they will have, um, they feel this is the best way to deal with this kind of stuff. So, um, again, this one, depending on what side of the fence you're on, you're either going to like this or not like this. Personally, I think they held it. They took the Sweden approach on this one, which, you know what? I don't have a problem with. So far, I don't have a problem with every single um, decision that's come out from the survey results and how EHG is agreeing with it. Uh, partial leaderboard reset. During a cycle, a partial reset only affected entries to leaderboards should be done when builds or items are nerfed that are highly overperforming as a result of a bug fix or balance change. Again, survey results from the players all over the map. While the above answer also addresses this question, for consistency, we want to show the results of all of your votes here. 
Okay. Um, notification. So basically it's the same as the one above. So we're not going to dive into it more. Notifications via public posts. During a cycle, I want to be notified via public forum posts in advance when a bug fix or balance change will end up nerfing a highly overperforming build. And 73%, like that's overwhelmingly uh, swayed to one side. To everyone's surprise, it looks like almost everyone agrees that receiving notifications upon about upcoming balance, altering buff fixes or changes is a very strong desire. <laughs> Hello, yes, of course. As we've been showing this last week since we started getting feedback on the survey, we fully agree with this and we'll start trying to provide more heads up when these changes are coming. Though with this, we will still reserve the right to not provide information regarding the upcoming changes if doing so would result in players rushing to take advantage, causing severe issues, or we could release the fix almost as fast as releasing notification that the fix is coming. So for these changes, if we feel we can release the information in full about the change, we'll do so. Otherwise, we may try to be more vague, such as with the internal shade infinite damage bug to limit its impact before the change. Or we may withhold it completely if it's something which is regularly crashing servers when it's utilized to minimize its impact until we get it fixed. Totally agree with them. Great way to handle it, in my opinion. This round of discourse with the community has resulted in some great changes to our stance that we're quite happy with. The two big changes here being, we will release fixes mid-cycle for bugs, which result in an item scalar build highly overperforming. Absolutely great. We will add leaderboard functionality displaying which specific patches or time spans an entry happened during. So they're going to mark it on the leaderboard that a change was made to an overpowering build. Once again, we'd like to thank everyone. Yada, 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 yada. Wow. Anyway, great, great uh, post once again from 11th Hour Games. And wow, 70,000 people participated. Great news. Look, this is another... Um, this is another display of the transparency, honesty, and 11th Hour Games truly shaping the game of Last Epoch, not only through their design, but through the communication and feedback from the player base, which is, it, it's a great strategy to embrace. It's, it's one thing to say that you want feedback. It's another thing to take that information and actually put it in the game and you can see the correlation and I don't know how more transparent you can get. They're not only shared, they not only shared the results of the survey, the 70,000 people that took this survey, but in sharing of the results, they actually put their position and how they're going to manage the game. And w reading this article, everybody walks away crystal clear on how things are going to be dealt with from now on. If there's a bug in the game that's causing builds to over be overpowered, they're going to fix it ASAP. Even if it's during a cycle, they don't, the players want it. So the developers are going to do it. Applause, applause, applause. I love the transparency and the communication. Unbelievable. Anyway, I wanted to share the results with everybody. If you participated, let me know how were these results compared to your feelings and how you filled out the result, let me know. I would love to know. I have to say, these are this res these responses are very similar to kind of what I would have, uh, what how I completed the survey. So there's nothing here that's shocking that I'm taking away with, wow, I totally disagree with that. I agree with everything that's in here. So let me know how you feel, how this was, um, not close or close to how you filled it out. I would love to know. Anyway, if you could like, comment, or subscribe, I would really appreciate it. And thanks for watching the video, guys. We'll keep you posted on Last Epoch. Come and join me every evening on Twitch and YouTube. I stream every evening. Sammy Caps is the channel name on both. Look forward to seeing you there. Anyway, as always, thanks for watching. And we'll hope to see you next time. Take care. The opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine. 
Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed. So get over it.